Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a makeup look for you guys. Very bright, very bold for the summer. And today's video is going to be a collaboration with Jazzy Jujube, the love of my life. Okay, and we're doing a collab using this palette right here, um, the BH Cosmetic Hollywood palette. And we're going to show you guys two different ways that you could possibly wear this palette. Okay, so if you want to see how I achieve this look, I promise you it's not that bold. Like, it's really, really nice. Um, don't go anywhere and I'll be right back. And also, you don't want to miss this video because there's a nice little surprise at the end. Hmm, I wonder what it is. Alright, so I'll be right back. Toodles! <laughs> Alright ladies, so let's start by taking Painterly, which is a MAC paint pot, and apply that all over your lid. Then you want to take the Sedona Lace, the brush is EB13, okay, and make sure that you blend the product in so you can have a flat surface on your lid. Then take the remaining product that is left on the brush and apply that on your waterline. Next, we'll be using the Makeup Forever Aqua Cream in this sulfur color. Apply that on your mobile lid. Take a fluffy brush and blend upwards, but make sure that you leave enough of a concentration on your lid because we'll need that for color. This is a blush color that I'm actually using, but it's a nice pale orange, so apply that underneath the brow to give it more of a subtle highlight, okay? But make sure you blend the blend going downward. Next, I'll be using the Gel Liner by BH Cosmetic just to pat that on top of the aqua cream. Then I'm going to take the sulfur color from the Hollywood palette and pat that on top. If you're darker than me or my complexion, pack a whole lot of color. If you're lighter than me, you probably won't have to do as much packing of the color. The next step I'm going to be doing is take a fluffy brush and use the neon color green that's on the palette and blend. The blend going upwards, so we want the color to be more of like a glow, okay? Next, I'll be taking the yellow from the palette and applying that above the neon green and accentuating that glow. As you can see, it looks really, really neon green. And then take Break by MAC and apply that right on top of the yellow at the highest point with the like, yellow kind of ends, okay? And blend that in, okay? Once you're done blending it in, you also want to apply more of a break. And this time, come down towards like your waterline, if I could say that, and make sure that you keep blending because you don't want to have any gaps around the nose area, okay? Then I'm taking the darkest blue and I'm going to apply that on about like half of the waterline. Then you take the lightest blue and you start from the tear duct and apply that the, um, the other half. Next, take a glitter gel, for example, Sally's Girl. Then you want to go back in your palette, take the first sulfur color that we use and pat that on top, okay? It'll give it some nice texture. Then you take the black and you place it right where I'm placing it. Then you'll take the darkest blue from the palette as well and place that right on top of that black, but fade that color just a bit so we can have some dimension. And that will serve for later on once we do the, um, the eyeliner. So I'm taking the Super Skinny by NYX and applying that right at the base of my lash line. Then I'm going to take my gel liner by L'Oreal with a lip brush. I love using lip brushes for eyeliner because they give you a very, very nice wing. So it's a slow process, but be very careful with it. And you also want to make sure that you start lining the eye from the inner tear duct, okay? Because that's really going to give you a really pretty cut eye. As you'll see. Next, I'll be taking this lemon gold, very much of a citron color, citron color, and applying that right there underneath the brow bone as a highlight. Make sure you pack on a whole lot because we'll blend that in, and that's really gonna give it more of a metallic gold glow. Then I'm gonna take this electric blue eyeliner by NYX, okay, and place that right above the black. And in case you're wondering, you do it like that so that way the blue really pops. When you're dark skin, we need extra help, okay? So go, as I said before, inside the waterline and come out because you want to have a nice cat eye, really feline looking cat eye, okay? Good, but don't go all the way out though. No, you want to have a gradient effect. And then you take a mascara wand and kind of get rid of the excess product. All right, so now let's take the liner again, okay? And we're going to start drawing the floating crease. This is how I like to call it. You call it floating crease. You can call it a lazy crease. You can call it lazy ass. I don't know. So let's just say that, but you really want to take your time with this and be careful. Now, it's not going to be perfect at first, so all you're concerned about doing in the beginning is making sure you have a nice outline for your floating crease, okay? So you take the liner just like that, 
And then you want to take an angle brush. The one I'm using here is Spice Adorno Lace. And you kind of want to buff that in so it's not as wet. And you want it to become a bit more matte. So you're going to take this brush or another brush, for example, and dip it in the darkest blue. And kind of buff the color in there to give it a matte look, okay? And once you have a little bit left on the brush, then that's when you actually want to come inside the inner corners of your eyes to kind of get that small, very small line, okay? And as need be, feel free to use more of the gel liner, sorry, the liquid liner, okay? To make sure that the shape is really thick and really full, all right? So, but every time you apply the liquid liner, you also have to go back in, take that dark blue right there, and then apply that on top. Then after that, you want to take a pencil brush and you want to use the pale, I mean, it's not pale, but it's a lighter blue that's also in the palette and apply that right above it following the outline of your floating crease. And see what happens is when you work with um, the same colors within the same family, but you're going from dark to light, what that does is that it gives a dimension. So from going from the dark blue to this subtle or lighter blue, what we're doing, we're actually giving ourselves a bit more dimension when it comes to this crease right there. So as you can see it, dark blue, baby blue, let's call it baby blue. And now see, now you have this dimension, it's kind of smoky a little bit, so it's a nice gradient effect. Next thing what you wanna do now, you wanna go back, take your gel liner by L'Oreal. I love this one, I really, really do. And now you actually wanna extend your, your line, okay? Take a little bit of the black eyeshadow and kind of buff that in there. So that way we get dimension because we're working with the dark black and then an eyeshadow black. So we're giving ourselves a bit more dimension and it's going to look really nice once you're done. Then you want to take the sulfur green from the palette, put down the angle brush and kind of extend that line. Then I'm taking brick with this pencil brush by e.l.f. and applying right there so I can give it some depth. Okay, so we go from giving it dimension by taking a lighter color within the same family of blues and then we take the brick there's an orange color or brown, something that's brown base, placing that there, that corner, so that way we're giving it some depth. Now I'm also going to take my liner again, extend the line. I'm also going to take the gel liner again and extend the line. Mm. So really work in there and trying to create texture. Then you want to take the blue, electric blue liner again and place that on the outer rim of your waterline. Don't place it inside because that'll hurt, but just on the outer rim. Then I'm taking this pigment here by NYX, which is also this neon pigment, and placing it the one third, in the one third of the eye, okay? So for this look, I decided to wear three lashes. Now, I'm gonna give you guys a tip. When you're working with stacking lashes, every time you place a new lash on top of the first one, so the first lash you place it, make sure you use some liquid liner to kind of seal the rim and make it all black. Then you place the other lash on top, seal that again with some eyeliner, so that way there's no gaps, and there's definitely not going to be any white glue. Then I'm taking the blush from the palette again, the pink one, and just kind of buffing that in. Okay, then here's the lipstick I'll be using. This one is the Pure Color Collection by Estee Lauder. Very gorgeous. This is the number 47 by YSL. Very pigmented with lots of um, glitters and it's just gorgeous. I love it. Then I'm taking Current, which is a lip liner by MAC, and giving my lips dimension again with this Umbra effect. So we're still working with a light purple, a darker purple. So we're giving our lips some dimension here. I mean, my lips are pretty big. I don't know if I need a dimension, but whatever. <laughs> then I'm taking another blush and placing that in there. Then you can take the angle brush again and put the sulfur underneath the eyes, then put on your mascara. Now I'm going to do my hair. For this look, I did some really small curls on my bangs so this, the curls will last longer. And I'm using this blow dryer by Jibere that I bought at Sally's. And it really does give you a really, really nice blowout. So, oh, goodness, I'm done. <laughs> I'm tired. All right, so this is the final look, you guys. I hope you like it. Um, like I said, if you're not used to makeup, it could be a whole lot. But if you're used to it, girl, shoot, do you, honey? Yeah, this would be like a really nice look if you're going to the club or even on the first date. Yeah, why not? Should let him know what kind of freak you are. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, ladies, so that's it. I hope you like this look. And please don't forget to check out Jazzy's channel. Now, but if I might see you Jazzy, did you be? Bisous, bisous. Thank you, guys. All right, ladies, so now that I'm done, 
with this makeup look the next part is the giveaway so for the giveaway you will get your own palette this it's you, you'll get a clean one i haven't touched it it's down there somewhere and i can't reach for it but you'll get this one so here's the hollywood palette you, you get the pinks and the blacks over here and then you get the more tropical side which is what i've used with the neon the blues and the yellows okay and then in this part you get a mirror and then you get four blushes okay so yeah all right so the rules are simple you just have to of course you have to be a subscriber you have to like my facebook page and follow me on instagram leave a comment on this video any comment and also leave a comment on jazzy's video now if you want to win my prize please go ahead and send me your mailing information and i'm just going to mail this prize away so it should be really easy huh so that's it. I talked too much. Um, please remember to like the video, um, share the video, and also don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber of mine. And if you're coming over here from Jazzy's channel, hey, how are you? I'm Marlene. Nice to meet you. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, stay beautiful. I hope you guys like this. It's a lot. It's very loud. But it looks good in person.